right, uh, welcome along guys. Great little uh, floral with Dangerous Dave brush. Dangerous Dave to start off with. Good clean for Dangerous Dave. Always clean your brushes before you start. You just don't know what pigments lurking about on there. So we'll start with a little bit of clean water. And get some of this onto the jug area. And drape it across. Taking it around the top as well. And royal blue will be the first colour on Dangerous Dave. Just flicking that across nice and lightly. Not hanging about too much. Dangerous Dave's got a, uh, a ballroom class to go to a little bit later. A little bit underneath just to get the uh, base down. All about the base. There we go. And uh, royal blue, Indian red mixed together. Nice grey tone. Getting it darker behind the floral on the uh, right, top right. A little bit more Indian red. That's redification, that's what we call that. It's a bit of redification. Mini Dave bursts into life with Indian red, featuring Indian red. And again, we're draping this across the jug area in the same angles. And we're leaving half of the jug untouched. Nice white area. Just a little bit of water on uh, Mini Dave there, just dappling that on, that's just putting the brush down, lifting it up quite quickly. Royal Blue, who would have thought it? Well, Mini Dave would have, because that's what he's uh, applying now, just in a quick dancing fashion, skipping over the area. And let's introduce it to uh, Purple and royal blue mixed together. A little bit thicker tone. And yeah, just blobs of colour just dropping down. Keeping the brush nice and light. And just bringing that across the area. An Indian red and purple mix now. What a shocker. Revelation. But again fairly central and get smaller dabs of that towards the edges just flicking that on ultramarine blue and purple mixed again fairly central that's where all of the leaves and stems cross over just a few little lines to start building up the uh, how the flower is placed and held together Just dropping that round. Using the shape of the brush. Me, Dave. Not sitting there being laborish with it. Just allowing that to uh, form the overall shape. Miss Rigger time, a very special time indeed, with Indian red, purple and ultramarine blue mixed together. I'm going to get a uh, little handle on there, so I'm drawing the outside shapes of the handle, then filling in the gap. And the bottom bit, so I'm doing it in little segments rather than one big go, uh, and a few stems as well so Miss Riggers part of the uh, famous the very famous loose gang that help you create nice fluid loose watercolors in no time at all so if you like a set of those guys just drop on to loosewatercolors.com and we can sort some out for you royal blue Indian red mixed together nice grey tone for the surface we're just dragging that across in a straight fashion, left to uh, right to left. And we'll just squidge that out towards the bottom, giving a bigger area of coverage for the shadow. A little bit just inside the jug on the right, just to negatively pick that out.
No splatter time with Miss Rigger. A bit of purple there. Loves purple. Oh, she always says about how much she loves purple. But she also says how much she loves royal blue. Oh, she's like that. But perfect for splattering. Great brush, Miss Rigger. Big Rigger brush. And a little bit of water just to smooth some off. So we're right there guys, I hope you enjoyed that one and if you'd like to see a lot more tutorials just like this for beginners and intermediates just drop onto loosewatercolors.com and there's a fabulous amount there for you to enjoy. So uh, thanks for watching and I shall catch you all again very, very soon.